squared right shoulder, but sounds like he's going back to third when Harper returns. That's hit very well. Lake chasing after it. Can't make the play, and he bangs into the door. And he is down in a heap. That is a double for Ryan Zimmerman, Junior Lake. Mm. Went flying into that door. And Ricky Renteria, P.J. Mainville, Ed Halber racing out to check on him. Oh, man. Yeah, he carried a lot of momentum into that wall. Yeah, the, when, when he's locked in, the ball jumps off his bat. Oh, it nails Carrasco, and he is down in a heap. And it might have caught him on the pitching hand. It looked like he got it in the glove, but maybe not. That does not look good. I don't know if it came up and hit him in the face or not. But, I mean, can anything else go wrong here? Carrasco in a lot of pain. James Quinlan, Indians trainer, out immediately on top of the situation. Not something anybody wants to see on a baseball field. That's... That's the scariest thing in the game. You get a, a comebacker hit that hard, you just don't have any time to react. No, because by the time you're done releasing the base, the baseball, you're you're 55 feet away. But that ball had to get him in the face because they're calling for something, somebody to come get him, and that's not a good sign. Oh, Ooh, David's hit in the helmet. Oh my word! Not again! Wow. Jeez. You know, it was four years ago that David Wright got hit in the helmet by Matt Kane here at City Field. And Ray Ramirez just wants him to take a moment. You're getting paid to go to a ball game. Oh, and Jennings took that one. Let's hope he's okay. The ball ends up out. Wow. And it was oh my. caught. Jennings is up and is being held up by Jared Saltalamachia. Wow. Oh, boy. And let's hope that Dan Jennings is okay. Sean Cunningham, Marlins head trainer, is out there. The Pirates team trainer is there as well. Jordy Mercer is the pirate that hit the ball. Boy, there's just a silence here of almost 30,000 people. And a concern from everyone. Out in front and over the top of it. Well, Gonzalez the other night struck out on a high fastball about letter high. Here's the set. The 3-2 pitch. A wild pitch back to the screen. Scoring from third is Alisan. It's ball four and Saunders is hurt. A wild pitch because something in his arm snapped. Saunders down on the field writhing in pain that ball flew out of his hand and went way wide of the plate to the backstop Jamie Reed the trainer out there John Flaherty is holding Tony Saunders right fist it is clenched and the Devil Rays have another ugly scene here at Tropicana field to leg expecting impact and he got oh look out a shot right back at Cobb off his head and the throw to first is in time and Alex is straight down on the front of the mound. Asked him to size up the American League West and what he liked about the top three teams. Here's oh, a bunt that may have come back oh. and hit Cowgill in the face. And it did. Oh, wow. Wow. See. 
just one of those heat seekers just comes oh. right after. I don't know if he fouled that off or not. Applying pressure on that wound is that look like skin on the nose just opened up. So you could hear the home plate umpire say first base, so they're saying the ball did not hit the bat. Now he's saying it went off the bat. That's a tough one to argue if you're the opposing up, uh, manager. But it sounded like he said first base, but I, I then, no, then I, I heard that too. Yeah. So. That's just hard to watch. And mm. just pouring out. And young ground ball off the chest of Freeman. Hudson got to the back. And a collision. Hudson might have been stepped on. Hudson might have been spiked by Eric Young on the way by. And Tim's down on his belly in foul ground. Oh boy. This is not good, folks. This is not good. He had his right foot on the bag, and then his heel came up, and he's going to need it. That's not good. And his heel came up. And I'm gonna need it. The 0 1. Oh, that got him. And it got him in the face. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh man. Oh no. Well, you just hope that it got a piece of the helmet before it got him. Every player knows when they take that batter's box that something like that can happen. That's why you you see the reaction of those Cubs players out on the field. Ken, Ken Crenshaw, the trainer, is out there. Ryan DePanflo, the assistant trainer, Chip Hale, and Mike Harkey. Oh my gosh. That ball hit Stanton right up in the face area, it looked like. His hands. Covering his face. He turned into that ball. And it caught him right. It looked like up under the helmet. Mm -hmm. And the Marlins quickly out there. The pitch was 88 miles an hour. It was not a not a breaking ball. Oof. Oh, wow. Goodness. Right and looked like the cheek underneath the left eye. Stanton still down. Rick Kranitz, the pitching coach of the Brewers, is out. Trying to keep fires calm. First. Ryan Braun and Gene Segura. Take a look at Segura in the dugout. Ryan Braun warming up, swinging his weighted bat, and 
Oh, he hits the girl on the side of the head. Oh, geez. Good thing he, he was wearing a, a helmet or a hat there, but that's got to hurt, giving stitches on his face, taken to the hospital, no concussion, no broken bones.